Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fish Off the Pitch. I'm your host, Terry Kelly, Coach Jeremy Fishbein alongside. Coach, another week, another set of decorations for the new set. Yeah, you know, just the virtual set, trying to spice it up. It's It's been surprisingly nice, you know, the whole, the whole vir virtual thing is, um, I don't know what to say, but, you know, try to give it a little bit of a personal touch, change it up a little bit this week. Maybe I'll just go over it real quick. Got some jerseys in front. Got my uh, Japanese national team jersey from a former player, Juno Narita. Then I got Big Dev Sandoval's jersey from Real Salt Lake. Two goals this weekend, MLS Team of the Week. I got an uh, Ico AIK jersey from Sweden from my trip to Sweden. This is one of my famous uh, favorite, not fa it is famous, favorite pieces of art. This is from my daughter called Chip Off the Old Block with the old chip. Um, another picture of my daughter. Nice uh, little gift from uh, Maddie Gibbons' parents when they came over from New Zealand. And then you know, I think last week we had some books from uh, the esteemed colleague Brad Hutchinson. And uh, just got some of the stuff, you know, that I got in my office, Mind Games, War Room. That's an interesting one. Bill Belichick, a little bit about the Patriots. Gus Hiddick, great coach. My main man, Roy Keane, Alex Ferguson, Yale Book of Quotes. And this is a big time book, Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Masashi, classic guide to strategy. Awesome book. Um, I recommend that to anybody. Uh, well, available on Amazon, I imagine. Uh, coach, another successful weekend last week uh, here at home. Uh, beat Missouri State 1 0 on Friday. Yep. And then uh, last night, Sunday, uh, very thrilling 2 1 overtime win over number 21 American. Yeah, thrilling, man. It took a bit out of me. It was uh, I'm tired today. I was just wired last night. You know, one of those deals where you're exhausted, but you're wide awake. It was uh, yeah, quite a game, quite a weekend, but a good one. You know, I think it's uh, five wins in a row. We're finding ways to win, you know, not uh, as smoothly or as easily as you'd hope at times, but uh, it's a special group, you know, finding a way to make it happen, mixing up the scoring, different guys stepping up. So uh, re real proud of the guys. I think it's real important that we um, recover properly this week, just kind of get away from it a little bit mentally more than anything. And then we start uh, conference play on Friday against uh, University of South Carolina Gamecocks in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. So a lot to look forward to. Um, with the start of conference play, you know, it's a little different, you know, being in Conference USA. Mm -hmm. um, New Mexico is by far the furthest team west. You guys have to travel back east a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you guys, you know, kind of prepare for all that travel throughout the season? I mean, our guys travel pretty well. And in a lot of ways, when you go on the road, it's almost easier. There's, there's fewer distractions. You go with a smaller team. Everybody's pretty focused. You know, in Conference USA, it's a single game. And, and, and you know, w we get flights at work for us, you know, so the guys get a good night's sleep. It, it, it's pretty smooth. It's a good group, and they know how to handle themselves. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, going back to this last weekend, mm -hmm. um, you mentioned – you know, different guys find ways to score. One of those guys will be your guest later. Uh, Nico Hansen scored in both games, was named Conference USA Player of the Week this week. Um, what does it mean to the team to get Nico going uh, as a compliment to Weehan and the others on the team? Well, it's not just Weehan, it's not just Nico. I mean, those are two guys in our attack that uh, we expect to score goals. I think other guys are going to score goals. But, you know, N Nico's a pretty dynamic player. He, uh, you know, demands a lot of attention, and then he took his chances, and that was important for us, of course, you know, and uh, Chris had done it previously. I think they're both going to continue to score goals, and I think there's going to be a bunch of guys that score goals. So it's important. You don't want a team to be, to be reliant on just one player, and that's what he does. He scores goals, so uh, it was good. I think he got, I think he made national team of the week in a couple. He did. Uh, couple publications as well so it was nice but anytime you know you see individual uh awards team awards you know that's based on 27 guys getting it done mm -hmm. so I, I think nico would feel the same way that he was the recipient of some great some great passing some great play by his teammates and uh you know scored friday's goal was a nice you know well, i wouldn't say it's a tap in nice finish 
but uh, his goal yesterday was a was a beauty. That was a big time goal to, yeah. to uh, bring it into overtime. Uh, what do you say we bring him out here? You guys can talk about it a little sure, bit. Sure, let's get Nico out here. Okay, we'll be right back with Nico Hansen. All right, we're back. Special guest Nico Hansen, junior here at New Mexico. I think were you on the show last year? I think I was, yeah. I think I was on once. Yeah, now I don't think a lot of people realize that you're Danish. No, I don't think so either. And not named after the the breakfast roll from yeah. Denmark. No, it, it's similar, but you know, I don't think it's the so same. So this jersey's from Sweden, right across uh, the water. Pretty close, isn't pretty it? Pretty close to Denmark. Very close. Don't have any Danish jerseys. No. But um, man, heck of a weekend for you. Yeah. Thank you. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, of course. It was a good time. Really good yeah, time. Yeah, man, we needed it. We needed it from you. Those first couple games, you had some chances and some near misses. Mm -hmm. and Luckily, uh, some other guys picked up the slack, but it's good to see you bang a couple in the net this weekend, huh? Yeah, it was really, it was, it was quite incredible. I mean, especially with the guys there, it was unbelievable, and be there for the fans too. Have you read any of these books? Uh, I think the Ferguson book I might have taken a look at, but just taking a look. This is yeah. the one, man. Book of Five Rings. Of That's the one I recommend. The Musashi book. Yeah, that'd be the one to look at. Art of uh, Strategy, Classic Guide to Strategy and War. Pretty good, pretty good. I'd recommend it. Roy Keane, he's a defensive guy. It's not, that's not your deal. No, no. <laughs> Gus Hiddick, yeah, maybe. Some Yale of Book of Quotes, quotes. you got a lot of quotes, so yeah. you probably don't need any other ones. No. But it's good. So what do you think? What do you think of the season so far? Seven games in. Good. I think, you know, started off uh, kind of slow, but we got into it really quick. I think we just, we... We've really taken a hold of things as a team. I think all the 27, like we talked about, and I think after this weekend, uh, big team win, definitely a big team win. Mm -hmm. Francesco had a great game, great both games, really mm -hmm. good, came in, it was big for us, and I think different guys are showing up. We're getting healthier too, Sam's playing, Yuri's playing, those guys make a big difference for us also. Now, is it a lot different, you think, going into conference play? Uh, I mean, it's kind of nice actually getting into conference. Uh, those mm -hmm. two game weekends are hard on your body and mentally and trying to keep your stress under control. But I think it'd be nice getting into conference with uh, one game, one game at a time, really. Yeah, no, I don't think South Carolina had that big Danish forward last year, but I don't think he's back. No, I looked at that actually. I don't think he. I think he's. I think he signed stayed. a broke contract. Yeah, I think probably he's stayed, not back, man. is he? Mm -hmm. No, he was a good player. Yeah. He was a really good player. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what to exactly spec. They've had a kind of hot and cold start, so mm -hmm. that's going to be fun. That's a beautiful field. Nice, you know, Yeah. That'd be good. But, yeah, I mean, I don't have too much to say, man. I'm not going to jinx you. <laughs> Hope you keep it rolling. Yeah. Expecting another goal next yeah. game. You know, I think you've been a great teammate. You've uh, you stayed positive. I know it's tough as a center forward to go, uh, what would you go, five games without scoring a goal? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. No. But nah, man, it was a big time weekend. Mm -hmm. I was really happy for you, happy for all of us. But uh, anything anything you want to share with the, the audience? Anything new in your life? You got a new tattoo, I saw. Yeah, I got a new tattoo. Uh, I got my, um, it's more of a family thing. I got my dad, my mom, and my sister's birthdays on there on the inside in Danish. So I don't know how many people can read that. But, um, What's wrong with just putting it on a watch band or on a necklace or something? Uh, like you know, the watch band doesn't stay or the necklace might break, you know, it's just, that's different. Still don't get the whole tattoo thing, man. That's a, uh, uh, yeah. But I'm going to say this to my girls, to you <laughs> and you, it's the same one. This is the one who probably would get a tattoo. There's no Gabs. tattoos. I'll tell uh, you that right now. Gabs would probably come home and got one on her leg or something, you know. Yeah, she'd be the one who's most likely to get a tattoo of the two of them. <laughs> no, nah, man, it's all right. It's kind of a tribal deal. Looks like something maybe from one of the New Zealanders would have. Masashi probably like it. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll see. All right, well, just don't get any more this season. I don't want them to get infected. But hey, big ones this weekend. Maybe we'll get you back. If you bang in a hat trick on, uh, hat trick on Friday, we'll get you back next Monday. Sounds good. Two goals, maybe we'll get you back. We'll, one goal, no. We'll talk about it. Uh. All right. Well. Cut, let's go, get him out of here. <laughs> All 
All right, we're back with Coach Fishbein. Uh, Coach, before we take off, out of these books, you know, what's maybe the one piece of information that you've gleaned that's helped you the most in your coaching career? Probably Bill Belichick saying to draft Tom Brady. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> nah, these are all good books. Pretty uh, wide range of things. And you know, it's kind of cool, is, you know, different perspective. You know, you got a Dutch, American guy, Irish, Scottish, Japanese, a little bit of everything. I think it's pretty interesting. That's one of the great things about soccer, you know, football everywhere else in the world. It's uh, different perspectives, and uh, that's the beauty of it. I think that's the beauty of our team. We've got guys from all over the world, so it's pretty fun. But uh, not proud of this group, excited uh, excited for the next one, that's for sure. Yeah, big match on Friday at South Carolina. Um, you know, they're averaging over 3,000 fans mm-hmm. uh, per each home game. And you've had a couple good crowds at home the last weekend, so... You know, you guys should be able to handle that, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, our guys don't get phased by, by the crowd. It's a nice surface, nice stadium. You know, um, I think, yeah, it's their conference opener as well. Or did they? No, they, they played, played. They beat Marshall, didn't they? Uh, UAB. UAB they beat. They shut them out, one nothing. Yeah, so, no, it's going to be a big one. But, but I feel good. Our team's playing really well. It's going to be a great one. So hopefully we'll be back here next week with some good news, smiles. And uh, till then, we'll see you.